Hi, I'm John Wilder, historian for Aleppo Shrine, and I'm joined today with uh, Keith McKinnon. And uh, we've brought a few items, uh, a couple from the Aleppo collection and one uh, Keith has uh, acquired recently. So I'll let Keith start with the uh, one in the center. Thank you, John. Um, I don't know much about decanters. I do know, uh, I think, some of the earliest ones, probably late 60s, early 70s. Um, there is a very famous one that shows the 1776 model with the Shrine of Fez, a decanter. Um, but this one I picked up recently uh, at auction. It's going to go to the Aleppo Shrine Museum. Uh, it was done in 1981. There aren't a lot of Masonic shrine, or would you say Masonic, decanters out there, but there are ones can, can be found. Um, this one was made by the Mount Hope Winery and Distillery in Pennsylvania. What's unusual about this one is most of them that I have seen are top loaded. This one here is bottom loaded. So a cork or something was in the bottom. Very unusual. Um, it shows the Zembo Mosque, which is in Pennsylvania. As far as I know, it is the only uh, decanter that shows the building, uh, Zembo. Uh, it's a nice piece. Um, I don't know much about it. Uh, I do know that there were some beautiful sets, shrine sets, that were made. And there were also a number of Masonic sets. I believe Jim Bean may have also made one or two different. I've seen them for shrine conventions. Um, and not only for the Masons, but I've also come across them over the years for other uh, fraternal organizations like the Elks or the Lions, uh, uh, the Eagles. They've also had decanters made for the fraternities. Uh, so John, you wanna elaborate a little bit more? Uh, thank you, Keith. So um, as you mentioned, yeah, there are a couple out there. Um, you're right. I think this is the only one I've ever seen that has the uh, building. Um, there are a couple others that were done for individual shrines. Um, I know there was the one in uh, Bektash in New Hampshire. Yes. Um, and uh, I believe I've seen one for a shrine out in the Midwest, though. Blank on the name. Um, as you mentioned, there are a couple that are sets. We're fortunate to have... Um, the first set of the Shrine Circus one, which I know has been um, circulating on social media uh, in the past few months. It's come up a couple times. It's a set of six decanters, and uh, if you could find it with the original uh, wooden and plastic circus tent that goes over it, and uh, ours is the only one I've seen that still has the original flag that goes on top of the tent. And as far as I know, they haven't been opened, but we're gonna take care of that one day when we do visit the Shrine. We'll open them up and empty them out. I will make sure to take care of that. Um, as you mentioned, uh, some were made for uh, Shrine Con uh, the Imperial Session, which is the annual Shrine Convention. Uh, over the years, they were done as a, as a fundraiser. Um, the 76 uh, was one you mentioned, the Fez with the Spirit of 76, was done for the Bicentennial, which was held in uh, Kansas City. These two are, uh, were done in 1984 for the Imperial Session that was hosted in, in Boston. And these are quite interesting because uh, this one is the one that was actually produced and offered. If you bought it, it did have the Shriner and Patient, although that one has uh, unfortunately fallen off. Um, this one is actually the proof that was presented to uh, the Imperial Potentate uh, at the time, um, I believe his name was Richard Olafing. He was from Cora Temple in Maine. And I have a photo of this and the set, uh, the circus set, which was also produced in 84, being presented to him for his approval. Um, so there are some differences in the layout uh, and in the base and the decoration on the, on the uh, base of the statue. This is, of course, the uh, famous um, Paul Revere statue in Boston. And uh, Keith, if you lift up uh, Brother Revere, you'll see that it is a top-loading decanter, as mentioned, it does come off the base. Um, so it was just interesting, I think, to have um, both the production 
issued one and the original proof. But we do have a collection of probably six or seven uh, different ones that were made throughout the years. There's been some interesting ones. I've also seen uh, one done for the Tall Cedars. Um, and then ones that come up every so often is the large square encompasses. And then I believe there was also Past Masters, uh, one I've seen once or twice. Maybe. But, uh, but yeah, there were definitely um, a number of them done with the, uh, for the shrine. So they are interesting, they're very collectible, and even more fun when you can find that they've been unopened. So uh, if you like what you see, be sure to uh, like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.